you both have biotics? That's how it's said? Yep. Though, sorry, biotics are a few hundred thousand years ahead. Humans are catching up. Humans back home, maybe. You skipped class for 600 years. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Mm, well, we won't know till we try. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the Resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Well, enough about that. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then, everyone deals with it. That's the point. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. But I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although... I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is 
Beloved, I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Hey there, got a sec? Sure. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Back again? Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic prodigy. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Hey, little guy. He's a good boy, aren't you? Aren't you? You do know Pijak's pee anywhere, right? Hello, writer. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh... Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. the time when Sid was afraid of space. We were traveling a lot, and one day she just woke up and realized there was nothing outside the shuttle walls. Happened more than once. She'd panic. I'd hold her for as long as it took. She doesn't even remember now. It was only for a month or two. Funny, huh? The things they don't remember. And you feel like it's up to you to hold on to it, or else it's just gone. And there's just something there that you know you're missing. Drag? Just hold on to it. Need something? Need something done? You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me.
Hey, kid. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Cat. Destined or annoying, quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view, their friends too. Take a destined down, and that mist goes away. Makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. We can talk more later. Sure. Biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. Mm. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Seventy kilos is enough mass for another person. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. What can I do for you? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it. How much? Oh, yeah. Trade his swear words. Really? That's what you asked him about? A completely different tech base, and you start there. You want to talk shop? Talk shop. I want to None of the equipment in here would produce extra mass readings. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Commander? Pathfinder. Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. 
You went out of your way to free that silent sting. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Arya's vault. Jarl says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? My personal code is... I got this. Bold. A little arrogant. Like me. Still, I'll reserve judgment for now. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special cat facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to their program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. He's physically connected to me, and so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the Get. I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Get facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Jal said he wanted to see you. All the mass readings in here are normal. I hope not. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Six hundred years later, the power's run out. Suvi detects it. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. 
Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. She's only saying that because she never met me. Take care of my ship, and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai. <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <sighs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. That's why he hates aliens. Yes. He suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant, or anything, except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. More of a reason to set things straight before they get out of hand. I don't think Axul will listen to you. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Tholdir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point.
Thank you.